No, this is Spellbinders Report. This is Saturday, August 12, 2011. I just came across a video that... Oh, that was put up today by Plasma Pimpin, who is doing it for a person named Dabu7 who lost his videos from his account, couldn't access them and whatnot. I just took his site down. And he was talking about the uh, website that's an alien watcher site. And what's very strange about this whole thing is that he gives the description of what is in Comet Alien's makeup. And he said the only thing they said, and I haven't really checked on this yet, I'm going to go to the website, but He's showing the web page on there and it shows the composition on there. It's uh, made up of one part, which they don't tell what the other parts is, of hydrogen cyanide. Now, this may be something, uh, poisonous hydrogen cyanide. So we are to go through the tell after it passes. See, that's, you know, won't this uh, hydrogen cyanide pass into our atmosphere as we go through its tell? Maybe this is the reason for all the government DU dumbs that have been built around the world, the country, for the elitists to jump into? It is something to consider. Why would they why would they have bunkers being built? I mean I can see the impacts coming from maybe a impact from something that's following along with Alien, who's supposedly a couple of other objects that were caught when I've seen the uh, video from Soho's ahead satellite, or behind satellite, when they flipped it over to take a look at it. And it actually showed three objects all together. Or maybe even four. I think there was three following it. And it was the biggest object. But besides the point, where it gets me is that the thing's come is made up of hydrogen cyanide and you know it, it will be a gas as we pass through its tail and gases have a tendency to be able to pass through an atmosphere easier than say meteors and other heavier more dense objects so will our earth be enveloped in a hydrogen cyanide atmosphere for a while before it breaks down this is something to consider something for sure Here's the video. I'm going to play the first part where he actually just says that and leave it with that. It's Thursday, August 11th, 2011, and this is W7. This is just a quick video here on uh, September 26th and September 27th, 2011, in reference to Comet Elman. Now, starting off here at Leonid Elman's website dubbed spaceobs.org. I want you to notice on the right, he's got this comet. It's Blue Cachino. This comet Ellen. Following behind it is the Red Cachino. Nibiru. Whatever you want to call it. It's all depicted right there on this page. And mind you, this is the guy that supposedly found this comet Ellen. If you will. And in the past week, they've released information stating that Tacoma exceeds 200,000 kilometers, bigger than Jupiter. Everyone, a lot of people out there are like, well, why can't we see it? Well, by the end of this month, we'll be able to see it with the naked eye, but it's going to be out of our range here uh, where I'm at, Midwest United States. Anyhow, they go on to say that this comet consists of hydrogen cyanide. They're not saying anything else that they're finding in it. Yeah, and this is the size of the telescopes they're using to see this. Okay, not the ones most you people have access to, even up to a few thousand dollars. That's because that's a actually an infrared scope, 
and they're not really using that to look at Alan, but they're looking at the following red dwarf or brown dwarf as you call it or Nai Bairu which is coming in behind it. Like I said in my one of my videos on this that it might be like Pluto to it, one of the outskirting planets orbiting it. And it's coming through first. And it seems to have here a, a couple of orbiters of it or otherwise but I'm not really sure you know all I know is I saw like three three objects it looked like it was with it or two objects including it but it's pretty interesting though and I don't know what else to say about it it's pretty scary things there because this is uh, something that I didn't expect of it I didn't know that it was composed of a poisonous substance like cyanide especially hydrogen cyanide which is a real light gas it may even be easier to transpose the uh, membrane of the atmosphere and we'll be passing through that whatever side it gets hit as it goes through which will be on a well apparently on the west coast evening side on the west side of the planet since we spin counterclockwise I guess I know we go around it like that and go across that we're whatever side is against that tail as we pass through it is going to be the ones that get the major gassing off of this and uh, I'm not really sure how much will will envelop in our atmosphere during the period of time that it takes to pass through this but I'm expecting uh, bird kills and other things during this period of time as this passes through and maybe even animal droppings and you know animal kills and stuff and then it will dissipate since it's uh, has uh, oxygen and other elements in our atmosphere to mix with it after we pass through it will subside um, don't want a scary one but it is a good heads up though just to make you to go hmm and think about it that's all I have that's it until next time this is Spellbinder Report saying be good be prepared be prepared spiritually mentally and physically because you're going to need all three of them good day